Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And today, I would like to focus on those individuals called targeted individuals. You might be targeted in the sense from witchcraft attacks, from high-level satanic attacks, through false prophets, through any of the New Age movement, whatever those attacks are that are coming against you, it may be different for each person. But God wants to deliver us once and for all. Now, the Bible says, according to Ephesians 6 verse 11, it says, Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the the wiles of the devil. Somebody say amen. See, what I am seeing and hearing from people today, from you, and from seeing things happening around, that we are facing greater spiritual battles today than ever before. And there has been a release of demonic activity activity on the earth, even more so over the last two years, that is unseen even before history. And we know this is a drawing closer to the coming of our Lord. And we are going to see even a greater release of demonic activity during the coming months. And there are more than just physical battles, but this is also a spiritual battle battle and many people today are opening themselves up to spiritual attack through knowingly or unknowingly participating with those in the occult false prophets, witchcraft, new age and having generational uh, influences even targeting them. But let me tell you today, there is no such thing as good witchcraft for anything done outside of the power and the source of God is evil. Let me say that again. For anything done outside of the power and the source of God is evil, precious saints. That means, you know, you can't have a little bit of grey in between. There's no compromise with us. So, we've got to stop being fooled by even some of those that are operating under false gifts, false manifestations, even in the church, false spirituality, those operating under the Jezebel spirit, new age enlightenment that seems to have crept into the church a lot with even the terminology used, you know, saying such things as vibrations and all this new age talk there is witchcraft in the church. But precious saints, God is going to expose it so we may not be deceived anymore. So even in the church, many have crept in to deceive. And God is speaking in these last hours and opening up our understanding, divinely showing us the plans and the strategies of Satan and the craftiness and the sly ways that the enemy is able to get into our lives, get into our marriages, get into our ministries, get into our churches, and all sorts of false things going on in relationships, like this talk of like, uh, you know, twin flame relationships and all this type of stuff is crazy. Things that are even creeping into our families via television, via the devices within our homes, through our children. And the enemy is a liar because we have maybe unknowingly opened up demonic doors unto our lives, unto our families, through our, even our loved ones, by even those that are unknowingly or knowingly entering or touching stuff to do with occult practices that curse and torment us rather than bless and prosper us. That's why God says, do not touch these things. These are abominations because God wants to bless us not to curse us. Somebody say hallelujah. So believers must be prepared to make a stand against all high levels of attack against the body of Christ within this hour. And more specifically, uh, prepared soldiers should never ever go into battle without the armor of God so that we are able to fight the good fight of faith 
each and every day. So today we're going to talk about targeted individuals and that can mean something different for each person but many are under attack with unexplained attacks so a targeted individual could be targeted by a satanic occult even operating in government agencies at government levels through the cyber and so forth. Some are targeted by false prophets today, even within the church operating under occultic gifting. Some are targeted by high level witchcraft, even in covens that are happening around our area. Others are targeted even by those that are participating and practice yoga, new age, meditation and some are working directly especially most of these are working with astro projected demons to help attack you see many of these groups and individuals they use the lumina lumina calendar to start casting spells working with poisons and even summoning evil spirits for instance witches uh, are organized into covenants as local, national, and international levels. And how much more so is that for Freemasonry? Is that for the Illuminati operating under the satanic cult, the, even the stuff that we're seeing take place at Davos this weekend? That's very high level control and they summon even witchcraft and we, we understand them as the uh, Th those operating in that uh, spirit cooking and all that type of stuff that takes place. But within these covens, there are different levels. There are kings, queens, messengers, and even executioners that, do, that play out what they do. So at night when witches sleep, it is also known and very well known that their souls fly in projection, astro projection, out of the physical bodies to these meetings. And they use these summoning of these astro projection spirits to do all this. And this is not just those in covens, but this is those who delve in meditation, Hinduism, New Age yoga instructors, enlightenment people in the New Age, false prophets, as I've said before. Even in Islam, there are many as they go to Mecca. Many people go to Mecca, not just to see the stone, but also to come back with genies, come back with these demonic spirits to give them and help them advance. A same in Buddhist uh, temples, these monks, they also uh, are constantly summoning up these evil spirits especially the Tibetan monks, they are very high level uh, witchcraft and they're entering into the spiritual realm. Remember, every area that enters in other than through the blood of Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit is illegal. The only legal entry is through the blood of Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit. So we can see that these witches, they meet in different areas, in different scenes, and they are trying to bring about, uh, you know, bad things, unfortunately, bad things. So it is also believed that ordinary people cannot see the organization of witches with the naked eye. So it is today. Why is it that so many people are still blinded to see what is happening on? You know, most of the conspiracy theories are becoming real because they're happening right before us. So it is a, It is also believed that these witches, they, they feed on flesh and human beings, which is, uh, you know, a, which, which is, you know, it's satanic. There is sacrifices and all sorts of stuff, especially at these higher satanic levels. And in some covens, the witch can mainly uh, even provide their own relatives. They will even sacrifice their own relatives. So consequently, witches uh, are thought to kill even some of their relatives during special occasions of their festivals and their celebrations. That's right around that time of Halloween and stuff, these things take place. So it is alleged that witches or those operating in groups of astro projection individuals can fly even overseas to attack some of their relatives abroad. And they can use these demons to even rape people, send demons into the home to torment you and the list goes on and on and there are stories of people even in foreign countries who've who have seen these attacks from relatives come all the way over 
to where they are. So it is strongly believed that even witches, um, they can cause uh, infertility in women, uh, impotence in men, stillbirth, and even serial infant mortality in families and tie up people's finances and relationships and so forth. So witches are thought to even uh, cause many other diseases such as diabetes, leprosy, and even convulsions and, uh, you know, in epilepsy and things like that. And they are believed to inflict uh, material losses of people also. That's why we're seeing. So it is believed also that um, unemployment uh, will also come against and cause you to be jobless as a result of these witchcraft attacks. So it's not just witches. There are people that are working at different levels, but any entry into the spiritual realm other than through the blood of Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit is illegal, precious saints. So all these people that are bringing in these things are coming in in a very evil way. So, you know, uh, witches can influence people uh, to do deeds that cause them even to be shameful. For instance, it is said that even members of parliament uh, the, and, and people of high level positions, they can even cause them uh, to, to, to be brought into things like adultery, rape, drunkenness and theft and even to make them lose their respect in the community and possibly lose their positions or hold them in most cases ransom under blackmail so that they will do what they do, change the laws to bring about those things and that's what we're seeing. So we can see that even the Illuminati, we, we hear about the Council of 13 and they are believed to be these high level of witches in these original, uh, you know, original blood family line witches that work under the Illuminati to consult with all the spirit cooking and all sorts of stuff. So they frustrate the good plans of people to opposing their progress and with spiritual manipulations. But coming back to these targeted levels, it doesn't matter. Maybe you're a targeted level person. And there's even people that practice meditation and yoga who have even submitted themselves to various chakra initiations from these Eastern belief systems. Let me tell you that all these people, even the modern day witchcraft, they are learning other witchcraft from other nations to try to consult with deeper power. So these chakras, they open up the third eye and the seven chakras. See, there are seven psychic gates in the human body that these occultists call chakras. The crown of the head, the forehead between the eyes called the third eye, the throat, the heart, the navel, the sex organs and the anus. And now when opened up, a demon will be assigned to each of these gates to keep allowing floods of other demons to enter a person. So let's look at this. So witches and warlocks and people skilled in astro travel can use these demonic spirits to enter someone uh, in one of these seven gates to also try to torment them. But there needs to be some type of legal right for it to do it. See, these astro projection attacks happen when they find weak individuals through any of the seven gateways, i.e., let's just say through the anus, when inside they would evaluate the person. So wherever they're coming in, they would evaluate the person's spiritual life and authority through. Now they can't come in through a born again Christian that is not lukewarm, that is not on fire for God, that is, you know, when the blood of Jesus cover us, there's no legal right for the enemy to come. But when there is through your generational line or wherever these things is the enemy can come in. And what they call it is they come to look at your aura. Now, we don't use that terminology in Christianity, but that's what they use. They see the aura and they see the color of it. They see what they're allowed to do. They see the force field over Christians. So when we are in active sin, it's not that we lose our salvation, but rather we forfeit it. We forfeit it. We walk away from it. There are many Christians that have walked away from God because of all their continual participating of sin, which gives a legal right for the enemy to come in and press you in an area. But if, if given the chance, there are many people that contact me and say, you know what, Pastor, I'm being sexually assaulted. Many people are being sexually assaulted 
by demons. You know, incubus and succubus. We know these are the sexual demons that the spiritual spouse that comes to attack you in your dreams. I'm not just talking about dreams. I'm talking about someone visiting you and you feel the oppression of that person over you, which is used through this demonic astro projection spirit. And they come and attack you. There's some people even in their workplace being attacked sexually during the day when they're out in public during the day. And they feel that this person is constantly having uh, uh, sexual intercourse with them, raping them at all times. Now, this only happens through these legal entries that come in that maybe we have some connection. Now, there are even false prophets doing this in the church, precious saints. There are even uh, people that call themselves pastors that somehow have laid a hand or done something to something and then all of a sudden the dreams start or all of a sudden these sexual attacks start on people they can give you uh, you know false anointing no, there's demonically uh, anointed uh, oil and as soon as you put that oil I've had people that contact me as soon as they put oil from this certain so called famous man of God all the women in the room in the hotel all started to manifest in there and they were being attacked sexually sexually by these demons this is not normal precious saints so these devils will come in and they will try to attack you maybe you are one of these targeted individuals maybe you're listening to this today and say hey that's a bit far-fetched and that's understandable maybe you don't understand because you're not going through that but you've got to understand you don't want to open up these things you don't want to uh, open up gates of sin to these things like sexual intercourse many people are having sexual intercourse with a demon maybe just in their dream or even sex with prostitutes opens up doors drugs, any type of visiting or fortune telling, uh, receiving healing through any occultic powers, anything like reading occultic books or new age books or looking at those new age pictures or any of those things can open up legal rights. You know, I've had people that looked at a, a picture on Facebook because of their profile and the profile photo was uh, like a new age looking spiral weird thing and then hypnotized the person all of a sudden they're now being attacked every night through the astro projection demons of the new age person precious saints you got to also look at watch out looking at the eyes of these wicked people because they can also try to hypnotize you remember when you are covered under the blood of Jesus Christ and you understand your authority, these things do not have power of you. But there are spiritually weak people that do not discern. They get into relationships that they shouldn't. They open themselves up to certain things. They consult because these demons will manipulate people that seek solutions through witches and occultists. There's some people that claim to be born again, but they're still practicing witchcraft from their villages from their home. That's why when they go back to their villages, even their mums connects them to go and see the witch doctor or whoever it is. And then all of a sudden they are doing things, tying up things, burying it, put it under the ground, you name it. These people, people consulting, saying they're going to Mecca on a pilgrimage, but really they are consulting with genies and bringing those things back. We've got, we are living in a time today where evil is evil and any entry level, any entry level to the spiritual that is not through the blood of Jesus Christ is illegal let me say that again we don't want to enter into anything that is not what god has told us to do precious saints because many people are doing that today many people are entering into things that they shouldn't be because they're not staying in the word of god they're not staying in the things that is what god has told them to do so we've got to understand there is power in the name of jesus christ colossians 2 verse 15 having disarmed principalities and powers he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in it so everything he did is winning over darkness precious saints colossians 1 13 and he has delivered us from the power of darkness and he has translated us into the kingdom of his son of his love in whom we have redemption through his blood and the forgiveness of sins and what about 1 john 3 8 for this person the son of god was manifest that he might destroy 
the works of the devil. And what about Revelation 12, 11? And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony that they did not love their lives to the death. Precious saints, Jesus destroyed the devil and all of his works through the death on the cross. Jesus has fully delivered us from the power of darkness. Jesus has fully disarmed principalities and powers. And also, what about this? According to Philippians 2, it says that what? Therefore, God has also highly exalted him, given him the name of which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and those in heaven and those on the earth and those under the earth and every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now, precious saints, these extremely powerful statements are being made to all of us to know who God is so that we can combat against any of the attacks of the enemy. But you got to, you can't just trust everybody. There are wicked people that have crept into the church, precious saints. They have crept into the church. These are wicked agents of Satan that have crept into the church. That's right. They can see if a person person is weak in faith depending on the struggle of their personal walk see you got to understand that many many men women boys and girls who are ravening wolves or agents using these different demons and even operating in different churches all over the world today now the purpose of the church is to expose this. But these people who are guided by these astral spirits are trying to manipulate Christians around the world. And that's why I'm getting so many e emails from people that are being attacked in this way. You can't just go and share this stuff with everybody because people will just think, hey, this person needs to be locked up. But these are genuine spiritual attacks sent by witches to attack Christians in the church because some Somehow they have opened up themselves to this or believed in it. Whatever it is, we've got to overcome it. We've got to move forward. We've got to believe that Jesus died on the cross so that we can overcome in each and every area. So maybe, maybe you're experiencing various energy lows, certain shifts of things happening you don't understand. Maybe there's a sensation of heaviness. Maybe all of a sudden you're experiencing this hot and cold situation. And if you find yourself frequently out of control, even of various body parts, body functions, or other manifestations, then maybe this is just the experience and the outward signs that suggest that you need deliverance. Maybe somehow you have participated of things knowingly or unknowingly. Maybe Maybe there are certain things connected to your family nine that still need to be broken. Maybe you are that targeted individual today and God needs to deliver you. There are some people that understand what I'm saying and it's speaking to you today because you've been undergoing all these attacks because let's face it, things are getting very evil, precious saints. Things are getting more evil today like never before and we need to be above it. We need to understand it. We need to overcome it so the devil has no hold over our life's precious saints so that God can deliver you today. Now, I want to proclaim this today as it says in Galatians 3.13. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree. Precious saints, Jesus went to deal with the curse of sin and he has given us authority to deal with every demonic power because the devil lives under our seat. And we can also renounce every family curse. We've given that authority. We are going to be the very one that brings deliverance to our family because we're going to go against the grain. We're not going to go and follow man's traditions, but we're going to follow God's traditions. Yes, Yahweh, we put our trust in you today. Jesus, the name above all names. And we also are going to renounce and cut off and dissolve in the blood of Jesus every ungodly soul tie 
for our ancestors may have even created with any other participants in either occultic groups and any things that we have touched, whatever it is, whatever bad relationships today, we're going to pray and we're going to renounce it and we're going to break it today in Jesus' mighty name. So I just want you to listen to this prayer today and claim it on your behalf or those of your loved ones that might be attacked and you don't even know about it, precious saints, but we're going to pray today. Heavenly Father, we thank you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ as we come before you today. We repent of all of our sins, which may have caused anything that we are talking about today, any evil soul type, any, any having intimacy with those of the occult that has opened up a doorway, whatever it is, whatever sin that has opened it up today, we ask for forgiveness today of all of our sins in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we confess and renounce all of our sins, known and unknown. We confess and rebuke Satan and every spiritual power of his affecting that is affecting us, that is affecting our family in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus and by the power of his blood, we renounce break and sever all unholy soul ties formed between us and any other person and ourselves and now command any evil spirits which has taken advantage of any of this unholy soul tie to leave us now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb Jesus Christ we renounce and break and nullify any vow knowingly or unknowingly performed and we confess that we are released from this vow today and it's bondage and it's broken in the name of Jesus Christ. We command any evil spirit which has taken advantage of this unholy vow to leave us today in the name of Jesus Christ. And today, Father, we renounce and rebuke every evil spirit associated with anything to do with the occult, Freemasonry, witchcraft, and all other sins and iniquities today in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and cast out those spirits of witchcraft and occult, any mysticism, anything to do with Buddhism, Hinduism, anything to do with the New Age movement, anything to do with anything of the occult today, any serpent spirits or any idol worship, anything to do with the spirit of Baphomet, anything to do with the spirit of Baal, anything to do with any of these uh, uh, principalities, Jezebel and so forth today. And we bind those attacks today in the name of Jesus Christ. We command them to go now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out of each person that is listening today that you are in them and that you've attached yourself to them or you're around their dwelling place in any way, shape or form. Now leave them today. Go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose right now on them the power of the Holy Spirit to cleanse and to purify them and their family. We loose the Word of God into their very being to place, will replace wherever their uh, spirits were held, resistance in their body, soul, mind and spirit. Any of uh, Anything to do with their conscious or subconscious right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, we ask you to now set everyone free that is listening to this prayer from all spiritual and other bondages in accordance with the many promises of your word. And we exercise and dele the delegated authority from you, Jesus Christ, over all levels of evil spirits and demons which have been assigned to them that are listening. And we command that all such demonic beings are to be bound up into one right now and to be separated from each part of their humanity whether perceived to be in the body or trapped into the dimension that they are not permitted to transfer into any power that is using astro projected spirits even on the people listening today and go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ we command in the name of Jesus that every evil spirit to leave them right now to leave them right now and touching, no touching of them or harming no one right now. You will go back to the pit of hell now and never to return to them or their family. And we command that you take all your memories, roots, scars, works, nets, listening devices, demonic attachments and habits with you right now. Go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ that you today and your family 
today that are listening be totally free from the consequences of the sins of even Freemasonry, of the occult, of witchcraft, of even Mormonism, of shrines, of, of, of Hindu gods, or any other related paganism or cultures or new age practices in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we ask humbly for the blood of Jesus, your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ, to cleanse us from all these sins that we may have confessed and renouncing today to cleanse our spirit, our soul, our mind, our will and our emotions and every part of our body which has been affected by these sins in the name of Jesus Christ. We also command every cell in our body to come into the divine order now and to be healed and made whole and that they are designed into the perfect design of God, being brought back into that perfect design by our loving Creator, including restoring all chemical imbalances and neurological functions, controlling right now all cancerous cells to leave right now. They are reversing all degenerative diseases and we sever right now the DNA and RNA of any mental or physical diseases or afflictions or any impact of the snake bite that has been injected into any person to come out right now of their bloodline and their DNA to be restored back to the perfect design of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and cast out all the spirits of fear, anxiety, panic attacks, hypertension, worry and doubt from them and their family today in the name of Jesus Christ. We put the blood of Jesus Christ against all of these at the root of which they came in and we close those doors now, seal them with the blood of Jesus Christ and send them back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ and they will know by, by no means touch or touch anyone in else in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose upon all people listening the perfect love for it is perfect love that casts out all fear. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We take authority and come against all familiar spirits that have been assigned or any monitoring spirits assigned against any person and against any family members of their loved ones and so forth. All spirits of confusion all spirits of lies, deception, division, causing discord, any arguments, any discontentment, any seduction, lust, perversion, and all these underlying spirits come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind them now in the name of Jesus Christ today. We bind all their physical uh, 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 situations that are taking place, any spiritual attacks assigned and operations, and all these demonic spirits that have been, we render you powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. All curses, vexes, hexes, bewitchment, enchantments today be removed and broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. And all witches and warlocks we brought to the judgment of God. And I pray that they will repent today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray today, let every connection be broken today over them. It must be cancelled, made null and void and nullified, never to manifest, never to come uh, to pass. Those things are broken over them. All those monitoring spirits, all those assigned familiar spirits are broken over their lives today in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind right now every request right now and we say Lord have your way in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind all principalities, powers and rulers and forbid them today to harass, intimidate or to retaliate against any person participating even in this prayer today. Lord we also ask that you would prevent these beings and whatever ranking, whatever they are to not be permitted to send any level of spiritual evil or retaliation against any person listening today against their families, ministries or possessions in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we now bring the fullness of His cross, His death, His blood, His sacrifice, His resurrection, His life, an empty tomb, His authority, His rule and His dominion. And we bring judgment from the throne of Jesus Christ against every fact 
foul power, witchcraft, black art and curse in the name of Jesus Christ. We cover each person listening to this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ and we ask for your giant warrior angels to surround us, to protect us and to surround each person, their houses, their families and their possessions right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And as your war club and weapons of war, we break down, undam and blow up all walls of protection around all witches, all witch doctors, wizards, any warlocks, any satans, any sorcerers, any high level government uh, satanic cult, anything. And we pray now that you will be brought to repentance right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We break the power of all curses, hexes, vexes, spells, charms, fetishes, psychic prayers, psychic thoughts, all witchcraft, sorcery, magic, voodoo, all mind control, jinxes, potions, bewitchments, death, destruction, sickness, every astro projection power broken today, every pain, torment, any psychic power, anything that is going on that is not of you, we break it today in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray today, we cut and burn any agents of Satan, any ungodly silver cords and ley lines be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring Jesus Christ curse for us against all curses that have been raised against each person that is listening. Anything that was written, anything that was spoken, anything that was unspoken or transferred to us in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, His blood shed upon the cross against all blood sacrifice and rituals and their every claim against each person listening today in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce today and annul every covenant made with the death by our ancestors or ourselves, including any agreement made right now with the enemy be brokered today in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce every seven planes of conscious in any trancing or anything to do with the seven chakra openings whatever however they were open whatever they touched whatever sins they committed we pray that they would be sealed and shut today in the name of Jesus Christ anything to do with the crown of the head the forehead between the eyes called the third eye the throat the heart the navel the sex organs the anus be closed now in the name of Jesus Christ we renounce any participation in all and every form of serpent worship including anything opening to the chakras the kundalini anything to do with uh, yoga or the third eye be closed up today in the name of Jesus Christ we command all these demons that are there at the gates you'll be bind right now in the name of Jesus Christ and we bind all those other demons and command them to go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ that each one of those chakra openings and those gates are sealed up through the blood of Jesus Christ right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name and authority of our Lord Jesus we break every curse of Freemasonry of all other lodges any other fraternities and secret societies, including any of those that are operating in our universities, any of those operating in the colleges, any of those operating in any way, shape or fame, Lord, in any of the women orders or any of the male orders or any of the joint orders, we pray today that they are broken over our lives today in the name and each person that is listening in the name of Jesus Christ, send your angels right now with the coordinates of our enemies which are pursuing to destroy us and to cause us to turn from your truth and to control us, to distract us and to deter us. We pray that your angels, the angels of the Lord would use the net of the Lord and any other technologies necessary to capture those that are pursuing us that are trying to identify us, that are trying to make us targeted individuals today. We pray today that they will repent and stop in the name of Jesus Christ. The foul spirit of harassment and lies. We recognize you working through these people today. And we take authority over you in the name of Jesus. And we command that you leave us and our families alone today in the name of Jesus Christ. You have no power over us or our family. The plans which you have sent against us to try to communicate with us are broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. We tell you foul demon, 
We will never have a relationship with you or any connection or soul tie with the person that is sending these attacks or targeting us. You are an evil harassing spirit that is trying to even torment us through this person. But today we break you off in the name of Jesus Christ because each time you may even call someone, text them or email them, we will say this prayer and declare it and believe it that those things are broken and we ask God that you'll place your heavenly angels around that person's home property and over our families over our belongings no evil will come near us the word of God tells us that that your weapons that no weapon formed against us shall prosper it shall not even prevail because we have that connection for no weapon formed against us shall prosper but any tongue that raised against us we shall or condemn for this is a heritage service the Lord and their righteousness is from me so we break off and sever all and all soul ties between us and any person and we pray right and we declare Lord God that you are our shield our buckler our rear guard our strong tower and fortress and we put our trust and faith in you Lord Jesus and you will seal this prayer right now in the name of Jesus Christ because you know all things and all things are in you and we trust in you we break Break off anyone's life right now and any of their families, including the curses of barrenness, sickness, mind control, confusion and poverty. We rebuke every evil spirit, Lord, that has been empowered with these curses and these demons to come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and cast out those spirits now, right now. You will come out of them. You will come out of them. You will come out of them. That spirit of destruction, that spirit of blindness, that strong man of death, the poverty of robbery and thievery, any withholding spirit and spirits of infirmity, any spirits of infirmity like cancer, any heart disease, all muscular diseases, sicknesses of any kinds caused by this infirmity. And come out of that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare today that all gatekeepers over them also must leave now. You will get out of them right now. You can only stay till one greater comes today and one greater is here. His name is Jesus Christ. Satan is not in charge today. Jesus Christ is. So pack your bags, pack your babies, pack your nests and leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. We put the blood of Jesus Christ against you and all demons that are operating at the root of this to come out of them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We close those doors now. We seal them shut with the blood of Jesus Christ and we cast you out back to the pit of hell and forbid you to come back to that person listening right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We take all generational curses of alcoholism, of poverty, of nicotine, of adultery, of faithfulness, cancer, diabetes, anything, anything dying prematurely, any curses on the firstborn, any curses of strife between uh, uh, daughters and mothers and fathers and sons be broken today. Going all, all those curses going all the way back, even back to Adam where the enemy has been in our heritage and any of them and we nail them to the cross of Jesus Christ. Christ right now who deem them none and void by from this day forth for each person listening and their families in the name of Jesus Christ we cancel them with the blood of Jesus and by the power of God right now and that every word curse that has been spoken against your family we cancel those curses now in the name of Jesus Christ because God all we ask you today is the prayer I pray today. Lord, for all those listening, they need more of your love. They need more of your care. Lord, I pray that you would be with them, that you would strengthen them, that you would send your grace to surround them. We thank you, Jesus. You are our Saviour, our Lord, and you have answered our prayers today. You are delivering your people, especially those that have been targeted individuals. I can't stress this more. This prayer is for you and for your loved ones. And maybe you've been targeted on different levels you didn't know. So Lord, I pray that you would open up the spiritual eyes of your people today. Lord, any of those people that have been... uh, uh, you know, suffering with tiredness, that have been suffering with confusion, that have been suffering with any of these potential demonic attacks that are coming against them. Any of those issues, any of those issues, any of those hot and cold symptoms, any of those various body part issues or bodily function issues or any other uh, manifestations 
devastation or any other thing, I pray be healed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed today. Be healed today. Be healed. You will touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this particular prayer, I encourage you, you can pray this more than once, especially those individuals or those that want to claim it over their families. It is covering everything to break it off you, your family, in the name of Jesus Christ. These prayers are done individually as led by the Holy Spirit. Someone needs to hear it today. And all those sexual attacks to be broken off and null and void, never to happen anymore because that demon has been broken over your life in Jesus name. So I encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.